Hello, I just arrived to Sky, so before I go to do some uh, Sky Sports news and uh, blog and uh, what else do I have to do? Oh, the links for Revista. I thought I'll uh, celebrate with you uh, the 33rd anniversary of Cristiano Ronaldo, somebody that you can only admire. Cristiano has um, played almost 900 games uh, professionally uh, and uh, his average uh, Goal scoring form is 0.7 per game. Unbelievable. For me, it's the best goal scorer in the history of the game because he's doing it at a time where really everybody now is well, supposed to know his strengths and how to stop him. And they can do that collectively and through video and studying it and preparing it the whole week. Still, he still manages to score. Uh, I said a couple of years ago that he had uh, picked physically and a lot of people understood that what I was trying to say is that he's picked, that's it, he's about to retire. And I never meant that, what I was saying was that he's picked physically, which means that he had to change his game and that's what he's done in the last uh, few years, in the last couple of years. So he's become a striker, a number nine, we discussed this a lot in Revista. And basically what, uh, what that means is that he depends on the form of the team as well because strikers, it doesn't matter if you are Cristiano Ronaldo, especially now that he's lost the pace that, uh, that he had to beat defenders, he depends on the service of the team and the team is now not playing very well, they don't recover the ball high up enough, uh, their counter-attacking is not as effective as he uh, used to be and they concede goals, uh, they don't attack and defend as close as they should. A lot of things that affect uh, strikers, certainly. But also, uh, he hasn't been very effective. In fact, uh, in La Liga, he's the least effective of all strikers uh, in terms of goal or shots and goal and goals scored. And one of the worst in Europe as well, which is unbelievable. But you can look at it in a different way. He scored this season 20 goals already, which is the same ones that he scored last season at this stage. Eight of them in the league, certainly. He should improve on that. But you start to think, if he's economizing his, uh, his efforts, uh, dedicating uh, a bigger effort perhaps in the Champions League than he is in the league. You wonder because the stats prove that uh, in the Champions League he's still very lethal. So what, uh, where is he now? At 33, uh, he still feels he's the best. There is a Ballon d'Or to prove it, a, the best award to prove it. Five Ballon d'Ors, the same as Messi. He's the best. He's, he, he doesn't doubt. Doubts will kill him. and. Um, Despite the fact that he was replaced by Zinedine Zidane against Levante with 2-1 to Real Madrid away, uh, and this was only the second time this season that he was replaced, the first time was against Sevilla, having scored two goals and being 5-0 up, uh, and despite the fact that Zinedine Zidane had not told Cristiano that he was going to replace him, hence the reaction of Cristiano doesn't want, to, doesn't want like to be replaced. Despite all that, he feels that Real Madrid is winning because of him. So as a consequence, he wants uh, to match his wages to the wages of uh, Messi. Messi is about 50 million euros, people reckon, net, and uh, Cristiano is earning about 23. Uh, so because even Neymar is earning more than Cristiano, he wants Real Madrid to pay him 50 million euros net, which they want. Nobody else will. Uh, the link to Manchester United uh, is not going far because, of course, Manchester United they don't want to say we're not interested because they don't want to be seen as a club not interested in the best club, best players in the world. But certainly they don't see this as a feasible financial deal uh, or that they don't think they can get enough from it. So Manchester United not in the equation. PSG not that interested either. Frontino Perez will want a swap with, uh, with Neymar. PSG not interested. So uh, that means that Real Madrid will eventually, perhaps at the end of the season, go and say, OK, instead of 23, we'll pay you 30 million net and that will keep Cristiano happy. That's where we are. Uh, this dichotomy where he feels that the president doesn't trust him or love him as much as, they sh as he should, where the fans don't love him as much as he should, is something that will continue in his career, nine years already at Real Madrid, and something that um, uh, motivates him as well. He keeps pushing to get the love of his fans that he's not getting in a way that he got in uh, Manchester United. He certainly looks at that with a romantic view of, uh, of, of that period. So. Uh, I'm sure that Cristiano will still, still score goals. Uh, he says he wants to play until he's 41. I don't doubt that at all. We'll see where that is because I don't think he will be there 
at that point at Real Madrid. Meanwhile, Real Madrid will probably uh, give him more money and keep him happy for a little bit longer. There is no other way for Cristiano to maintain, to stay in the elite with the kind of money that he's demanding. So that's where we are, 33. Meanwhile, happy birthday, Cristiano, and uh, keep giving us the same kind of pleasure that you've given us all these years. It's an absolutely pleasure to have somebody like him in the elite competing and giving an example to many, uh, maximizing the potential by working really hard. As I said, Cristiano is somebody too that you can only admire. Happy birthday.